In the multiple choice portion of exam two, you were asked, the correct Lewis structure of uh, the chlorate ion is represented by how many resonance structures? Well, the first thing we've got to do is draw a Lewis structure. Let's calculate our valence pool. That's going to be chlorine with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons plus three oxygens with one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. And then we have to add one more to account for the charge, giving us a total valence pool of 26 electrons. We're going to use chlorine as our central atom, connect the oxygens with single bonds, remove those electrons from the valence pool, giving us 20 electrons left. That's enough to fill the valence or the uh, octets of the oxygen atoms, which is what we're going to do first because they're more electronegative, and we'll still have two electrons left, we can put those on the center chlorine atom. Let's do an octet check. Everything seems like it's got eight electrons, so that's good. Now we need to do formal charges. Now in the case of the oxygen, that's going to be six minus 6 plus 2 over 2 because there are 6 lone pair electrons and 2 bonding electrons giving us minus 1. So all of these are going to have a minus 1 formal charge and the chlorine is going to be 7 minus 2 plus 6 over 2 and that's a plus 2 formal charge. These formal charges are pretty high so this is this does not pass even though they do add up to the overall minus one charge of the ion and I can show you that real quick. It's going to be three times minus one plus two. Yeah, that's minus one, which is exactly what the charge should be. Now remember, chlorine is in the third period of the periodic table, therefore it can expand its octet and accept more than eight electrons. And we can reduce overall formal charges in a lot of situations by forming double bonds or triple bonds. So let's see what happens if we just take a lone pair on one of these oxygens and push it down to form a double bond. So we're going to redraw this structure. Add in our lone pairs. So now we've got one chlorine oxygen double bond and two chlorine oxygen single bonds. Let's do another formal charge check. Oxygen 1 with the two lone pairs, that's going to be 6 minus 4 plus 4 over 2. That's 0. So we've already reduced the formal charges a bit. Oxygens 2 and 3 are still at minus 1. But now what about the chlorine? That's going to be 7 minus 2 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 over 2, giving us a formal charge here of plus 1. And while that's better, it's still not as low as we can go. And we still have the overall adding up to minus one. So you've got the two times minus one plus one, that still equals minus one. But the formal charges could still be reduced more. Let's see what happens if we make another carbon oxygen double bond. So in our new Lewis structure, we've got one carbon oxygen sing or chlorine oxygen single bond, and then two chlorine oxygen double bonds. We still have the lone pair on the chlorine. So we know that this oxygen is going to have a formal charge of minus one. These two are going to have formal charges of zero. Let's check the chlorine. That's going to be seven uh, minus two plus one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10 over two. And now we've gotten to zero. This is good. We've gotten all the way down to having only one total formal charge at all. And even better, it's on the more electronegative atom. Uh, oxygen's electronegativity is 3.5. Chlorine's is uh, 3.0. You want the negative formal charge to sit on the more electronegative atom because, you know, it's kind of greedy for electrons anyway, so it doesn't mind having a few more uh, a little more electron density than it would really normally have. So this here, this is our resonance structure. And we've got the minus one in the brackets because it's an ionic species. However, this isn't the only structure it can have. Whenever you see single and double bonds in the same uh, structure, you should automatically be thinking about resonance. 
So let's try drawing some resonance structures. We're going to start from the one that we originally drew. If we push down uh, one of the lone pairs on the singly bound oxygen to try and make a new carbon ox uh, chlorine oxygen double bond, well, the chlorine's shell here is already totally full, so we're going to have to push one of the double bond chlorine oxygen electron pairs onto the oxygen as a lone pair. We're going to draw that new structure. And it still works out, but take a look. We can also push a lone pair down and turn that last chlorine oxygen bond into the single bond. So overall, this structure is represented by three resonance structures.